O novo disco Songs of Faith and Devotion, o décimo da banda, traz os músicos do The Past deixando um pouco de lado os sintetizadores. É isso que a banda veio mostrar nos dois shows brasileiros da sua Devotional Tour, que começou em maio do ano passado. Antes da estreia em São Paulo, segunda noite, a gente falou com o Martin Gore. This is our first time in South America in general. It's quite an interesting leg of the tour for us because we're going to a lot of places that we've not played before. And on this leg of the tour we're playing a different set to the one that's featured in the devotional video and it's the whole stage set is is different. It's instead of the the, the smaller small 11 screens or whatever it was we had before we've now got one large screen behind us. From an art point of view I preferred our old our old stage set. But I think people tended to get too carried away by what was happening and forget the show too much. And now I think this makes it far more direct with the one big screen behind us. You know, people then are just focusing at least on, on the stage as a whole rather than little, little bits of the stage. For me, that, it doesn't really matter the size of the place. You know, the audiences are always good, our audience is always good. You know, maybe we're, we're spoilt by that fact. But, you know, in Australia we played at the smallest place we played for years, and it was, a, it was a really good concert, it was about 1,700 people. And sometimes, you know, it, it really doesn't matter. You know, sometimes you get a really good feel from playing a stadium, because there's so many people. And if, there, if there's like real hysteria there, you, you get a real feel from that. But sometimes a really small place where, where the sound's contained and the audience are going as wild is, is equally as exciting. Yeah, I can't think of anybody who's ever released an album and followed it with a with an album exactly the same, in the same order, but live versions. You know, I just like the, 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 the concept of that. It was justified as well, because the, the, the live versions are very different to the studio album versions. Now I'm not looking for absolution. I've always had this fascination with, with faith, and it gets stronger as I get older, and it's, it's starting to frighten me. I already now totally believe in God 100% and you know, I think within a couple of years I'll probably end up turning to Christianity or something. I don't know. Love is important, sex is important and some sort of faith is important. So they're the, the themes that come up every time in the songs. They, they are the same theme. Disparado. Fabuloso, meu Deus. Muito bom, da hora. Valeu cada centavo que eu paguei nesse ingresso. Valeu mesmo. Faltou Strange Love. Faltou Strange Love, né? Eu músicas antigas, ela não ficou só no parte do Songs of Faith and Devotion. A gente não esperava que eles viessem pra cá. Nunca. Eles são muito bons. 10. Melhor show que eu já vi. Depois do fim da Devotional Tour em julho, o The Past Mode vai dar um tempo. E só deve começar a gravar um novo disco no ano que vem. Em um Andrew Fletcher, meio cansado da banda, o The Past convocou outra banda inglesa para abrir os shows, o Primal Scream. O vocalista Dave Guerra teve falando como andam as coisas na turnê. It's been a tough tour, but it's been very rewarding in every way. You know, I mean, I think we've 
built our fan, fan base a, a, a lot more and that's something we wanted to do and the way we're playing together on the stage is completely different to what we've ever, ever played before. We start out kicking with rush rather than um, floating in with um, higher love, which we did before. But the set was a lot moodier before, I think. I think this set's a lot more fun. Well, thank you! Na turnê atual, o Depeche Mode está sem o talento musical de Andrew Fletcher, que resolveu dar um tempo da banda. He's been a little bit unwell and, you know, everything maturing. His wife's also had his second baby. So, um, he went to spend some time in New York. Um, so, Daryl Bermonte is with us, who's been a friend and associate for about 20 years. He's been my friend for about 20 years. Fletcher vai fazer falta não apenas pela sua contribuição musical. Ele era o responsável pelos negócios da banda e pela primeira vez o Depeche Mode vai contratar um agente. Fans over the years don't really get a lot of time to develop on their own and I think that's something that Depeche Mode has been able to do without having a manager, let's say, until this point. I don't want to lose your love. What are we doing this shit for? Let's go out and watch the band. <laughs> They're sleazy, they're dirty, they're nasty. They're everything rock and roll should be about. The Depeche Mode resolveu pegar nos instrumentos, além dos sintetizadores, que são a sua marca registrada. Além disso, estão mudando muito dos arranjos de suas músicas. Martin sings a couple of songs that I was singing before. He sings Condemnation now, which I don't sing anymore, because it's way too sad for me. I'm just joking. Tell me my sins, I'll show no repentance. six times and every time it gets better and better. My first gig ever with this, oh man, I'll be back again. By the end of the tour we probably played to nearly a couple of million people or something, so it's pretty impressive, you know. I mean for us, it's like after 14 years, it's a very nice reward. Essa dobradinha The Past Mode e Primal Scream acaba na semana que vem. E o The Past Mode, que já está cheio de estar tá na estrada, volta para a Inglaterra, onde o Martin Gore vai se casar.